at Puffy's house. And they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. And they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said that the gun was shined or whatever and sent that man to prison and destroyed his life. And she knew it was Puffy. He shared that artist and Mr. Combs' girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, carried the gun into the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. Jennifer Lopez. When she's finally held accountable for the part she played in the harm that was put on Natanya Rubin's life. Do you think they'll bring up charges on Jennifer Lopez? They better. Rumors are swirling, and the entertainment world is buzzing with the latest scandal involving Diddy Combs and Jennifer Lopez. Allegations have surfaced that during an FBI raid on Diddy's mansion, incriminating tapes were confiscated, reportedly featuring none other than J-Lo. These tapes are said to offer new insights into their relationship and might even tie Jennifer Lopez to the infamous 1999 nightclub shooting, a pivotal event in Diddy's controversial past. Earlier this year, the FBI conducted a raid on Diddy's mansion, allegedly seizing a collection of tapes. These recordings are rumored to include personal moments, but there is speculation that they may also contain evidence linked to the nightclub shooting that has haunted Diddy's history. As these allegations develop, the future of both Diddy and J-Lo could be dramatically affected by what, if anything, these tapes reveal. This is someone who destroyed my life. Former rapper Moses Shine Barrow is speaking out in the wake of Sean Diddy Combs' arrest and federal indictment. Once Diddy's bad boy protege, Moses, served nearly a decade in prison for a 1999 nightclub shooting in New York where three people were injured. Diddy attended a party at the club with his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and had also been arrested and accused of being involved in the shooting. However, during his trial, he said he fired the gun in self-defense and was acquitted of all charges. J-Lo was also arrested at the scene and was held for about 14 hours but was released without being charged. Moses, who is now the leader of the opposition, Position in the Belize House of Representatives claims he took the fall for Diddy and is now reflecting on his incarceration, calling Diddy someone who, quote, destroyed my life. In a press conference, the politician details their past relationship. When I was a 18 year old kid, um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do be recognized for our talent and take over the world, uh, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave. Let us not lose sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who... Both Diddy and J-Lo were present at the nightclub during the infamous 1999 shooting. And over the years, rumors have persisted about the true extent of their involvement. The recent FBI raid has reignited these whispers, suggesting that Jennifer Lopez may have played a more significant role in the incident than previously thought. As the investigation unfolds, many are questioning what new details the tapes could reveal and how they might reshape the public's understanding of that pivotal night and its aftermath. Morning on December 27, 1999 in Manhattan, New York, shots were fired after an argument between Sean Diddy Combs and a man named Matthew Scar Allen. After the incident, rapper Sean, who was under Bad Boy Records, was arrested while Diddy and his girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, fled the club, but were eventually stopped by police and arrested. Lopez was released after 14 hours and was never charged in the case, while Combs and his bodyguard Anthony Jones were acquitted on weapons charges. Shine, on the other hand, was convicted of assault and gun possession and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Well, one of the victims in the shooting, Natanya Rubin, who has never changed her story since day one, has stated once again that it was Diddy, not Shine, who shot her in the face and got away with it. Ruben has insisted for years that Sean had unfairly taken the fall for Diddy. I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the gun. For God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it 
to all parties involved. I think in our society, we have respectability politics. There are people who want to be adjacent to power or celebrity or money. Because his name was more notable, he was believed rather than a victim who gave a first-hand account by the grace of God. On that fateful night in 1999, shots rang out at a New York City nightclub, leaving multiple people injured. Diddy and J-Lo, who were a high-profile couple at the time, found themselves at the center of the chaos. While Diddy faced charges related to the incident, he was eventually acquitted. However, his associate, rapper Shine, wasn't as fortunate and ended up serving time for his involvement in the shooting. The event has remained a controversial chapter in Diddy's history, and now, with the recent FBI raid, questions are resurfacing about the true nature of what happened that night and the roles that Diddy and J-Lo may have played. During the conversation, guest host Brian Eaton would mention that Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Little Rod, is suing Diddy for sexual harassment. The lawsuit would contain a quote that may implicate yet another notable name. The tapes are rumored to reveal more about that fateful night, potentially implicating J-Lo further. If true, this could significantly impact public perception of the Hollywood star, who has largely managed to maintain a pristine image despite her tumultuous past with Diddy. According to Suga Kayan, the leaked footage has reportedly caused immense strain on Jlo's relationship with Ben Affleck. The couple, who rekindled their romance to much fanfare, is now rumored to be facing difficulties. Sources suggest that Affleck may have seen the tapes, which has allegedly led to significant tension between the two. This new development could add even more complexity to their already high-profile relationship. Yeah, you make a good point. You might be right about that. But I got to ask you about Sean. How you feel about him coming out, you know, reacting to Diddy getting indicted? He made a comment that went viral. He said that Diddy ruined his life. Well, Sean, what he said about him being an 18-year-old kid, he was right. He had, he should have known better than to pull out that gun in the club and start shooting. He should have known better. Puff had enough security there, and that night, Wolf, his people, and a couple of security guards, if they needed to do that, let them take care of that. So he had to take responsibility for his own action, which I think he's done. Sean is a politician. They're gonna take money, they're going to take trips. They're going to take a lot of sh to help their political rise. Now, did Puff ruin his life? Yeah, because Puff helped the prosecutor. It has recently been confirmed that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are getting divorced. These developments have fueled speculation that the tapes may have played a crucial role in their potential split. The idea that Jlo's past with Diddy is resurfacing to haunt her is both sensational and troubling, especially for fans who have closely followed her career and personal life. As more details about the tapes emerge, the impact on Jlo's public image and personal relationships seems to be deepening, raising questions about how her past might affect her future both in the spotlight and in her personal life. And they get all these videos and J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. And they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said that the gun was shined or whatever and sent that man to prison and destroyed his life. And she knew it was tough. I'm quite sure they probably called and the FBI gave that a courtesy call of being athletic. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. Of course, you would say, we want to show you some things. This is about your wife. When he sees this that her and Puffy was doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure, they gave his ass those tapes. And I'm quite sure he can never look at her the same. I'm quite sure they're here for a divorce. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a man who had a good life. Great parents. Don't spend a lot of money. Ain't tripping our paparazzi. We live in this life. He got his own, he got his own team. She even brought all the extra that motherfucker. He won't out. He keep he stayed married to the channel. He'd be broke. Instead of just doing movies, he'd be doing yum yum donuts commercial. Next thing he'd be doing is 
Jack in the Box commercial. Adding fuel to the fire, Suge Knight, speaking from prison, has claimed to have insider knowledge about the tapes and their impact on J Lo and Ben Affleck's relationship. Knight's statements have stirred up even more speculation, suggesting that the tapes contain more damaging information than what has been publicly revealed so far. His involvement in the conversation only deepens the mystery, as many wonder what secrets these tapes might truly hold and how they could further complicate Jlo's already tumultuous personal life. J-Lo is just, I don't know. Every man she's been with has said the same thing, except for Diddy. Diddy's the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wish he hadn't messed it up. No. Nah. How is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship but everybody else ran for the hills? <laughs> like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But did he say she was perfect? <laughs> yeah, maybe she was meant for the metal. What happens thing? if you're only perfect for the devil? <laughs> yeah. What the f*** does that make you? The entertainment industry is no stranger to scandal. But this situation shines a light on the darker side of celebrity relationships and the extreme lengths individuals will go to protect their public image. The involvement of the FBI, along with the potential legal repercussions, makes this case particularly explosive. As more details emerge, it's clear that the stakes are higher than ever, not just for Diddy and J Lo, but for anyone involved in this web of allegations. The allegations are true. Who knew what? Who is being interviewed by the feds? Could any of these high profile people face criminal charges of their own? Those are fair questions because after all, Combs is accused of controlling a criminal enterprise that was engaged in the abuse of women, sex trafficking, forced labor, prostitution, the distribution of drugs, an organization that committed crimes like kidnapping, arson, bribery, obstruction of justice to carry out their goals. So you have to imagine there were people who were part of this and witnessed this. In fact, the government said that they interviewed over 50 witnesses and victims. But there is one name on that celebrity list that is standing out in particular right now. Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. Why? Well, long before Combs was criminally charged, long before he was hit with multiple lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault, he dated the famous pop star and actress, reportedly from 1999 to 2001. Their first public appearance was September 1999 at the MTV Music Awards. And in the following year, when they were together, was where she wore that infamous Versace green dress at the Grammys. The couple were on red carpets together. They went to Combs' famous white party together. Big A-list couple. In fact, there is a photo of them together lying in a white bed with giant pillows. And in another photo, they're in a that same bed with other people. And one clip that has actually surfaced recently is of the couple in the show MTV Diaries from 2000. And this is where Combs expressed his dissatisfaction with Lopez having to perform a kiss scene in one of her movies. And she confessed he has a problem with stuff like that. So it was a little odd, but something else interesting happened. You fast forward to 2015, they'd already broken up. And this is when Jennifer Lopez appeared on the Wendy Williams show back in 2015. I was telling you that I could always see you getting back with Puffy in a little way. <laughs> I remember you said yes. that. Yes. Or in my mind. Look at me. Look it. As the story unfolds, both the public and the media have been captivated by the drama. Some support the claims, believing there's truth to the allegations, while others remain skeptical due to the lack of concrete evidence so far. Regardless of where people stand, the situation underscores the power dynamics in Hollywood and how past actions can resurface. Jaguar Wright told us that J-Lo is going to be investigated with Diddy. Jaguar Wright said that Diddy and J-Lo are both going to be investigated for the 1999 nightclub shooting where the victim said that Diddy pow powed her in the face. Jaguar Wright said that there was a Law & Order SUV episode that was made depicting the truth about what really happened that night at the nightclub and who was all involved and how a rapper was made to take the fall even though it really wasn't him and how they tried to get this woman away from having to testify. 
And she said that this episode depicted the truth about what really happened that night and then Law & Order SUV took this episode down and then scrubbed it. So I went ahead and did a little bit of digging and I did find out that there was a Law & Order episode called Three Dog Night, season 12, episode 9, that was inspired by Diddy's involvement in the shooting-related investigation. So me being curious and wanting to watch this episode, I went ahead and did a little bit of research and it said that I could watch the Three Dogs Night episode on Peacock. So I went to season 12 episode 9 as you can see right here and it says this is the episode called gray this episode is not the episode called three dogs night which was honestly really weird because why were they so adamant on taking this episode off the air jaguar right was saying that in this episode of law and order svu that jayla was depicted as an actual accomplice and she was taking part in these crimes so i went and did a little bit of digging because i found this super weird and it said back in the day lopez may have had a hand in puppy's case says an eyewitness jaguar right also said that in this episode that they were hiding the woman that was depicted to be j-lo out that way she wouldn't have to testify and as you can see here i pulled up another article lopez won't testify in combs gun trial Jennifer Lopez says she will not take the stand at the weapons trial against former boyfriend and rap mogul Sean Puffy Cone. Jennifer Lopez, known for her resilience and ability to bounce back from adversity, now faces one of her most challenging public relations battles. Her fans are watching closely to see how she navigates the storm and whether she can maintain both her career and personal life amid such intense scrutiny. The outcome of this situation could significantly shape her public image, testing her ability to weather one of the most difficult periods in her career. Other clips of J-Lo, J-Lo's mom coming forward about how she would never allow it to her, her daughter to go back with him, as we just saw at the beginning of this video. Uh, this idea, could J-Lo have held the weapon in her purse in that club so he could get it in easier? That's always been the question. What did she know? Why did she get off so easily? Why is she not talking now? Why not express the whole frustration of what you did back then and throw this monster finally under the bus or admit he didn't do it? It's very odd to me that she and so many others are staying silent now that so much is out there. Uh, is she waiting for the guilty verdict? I just think it's a little too late, J-Lo. Uh, now is your chance as you're trying to rebuild your brand. I know you were together. You had a history. Tell us the truth. I think at this point, it's important you give us something to stand up for the victims uh, and help get put this away. Or are you complicit in it? And is that why you're silent? I, look, I don't know. I want to know the truth. And that's why I find her silence to be dead. The allegations against Diddy Combs and the potential involvement of Jennifer Lopez in the 1999 nightclub shooting present a complex and multifaceted narrative. The recent FBI raid and the rumor tapes have brought these past incidents back into the spotlight, potentially impacting Jlo's current relationship with Ben Affleck. As more details emerge, the situation is evolving into a major public relations challenge for both Diddy and Lopez, with the potential to reshape their personal lives and careers. The ongoing scrutiny could have long-lasting effects on their public images and their future together. Jennifer Lopez is opening up about life as a single woman. In a new interview with Nikki Glaser for Interview Magazine, the singer addresses her split with Ben Affleck and how she's, quote, excited for this new chapter in her life, saying... I'm not looking for anybody because everything I've done over the past 25, 30 years, being in these different challenging situations, what can I f***ing do when it's just me flying on my own? What if I'm just free? As fans recall, J-Lo and Ben tied the knot in July of 2022. The actress filed to end their two-year marriage on August 20th, with Jennifer listing the date of separation as April 26th. Admitting this new territory of being on her own can be, quote, a little scary. Jen emphasizes that the, quote, most important thing is the relationship with herself, which, quote, we tend to get away from at times when you're wrapped up with other people. She also notes that even though she labels herself as a romantic, quote, being in a relationship doesn't define her. 
adding for people who are romantics and love being in relationships and want to grow old with somebody we think i have to have that to be whole and happy and you don't going on to address the pain that came with her split from ben jlo still says she has no regrets about their love story quote not one second that doesn't mean it didn't almost take me out for good it almost did but now on the other side of it i think to myself that is exactly what I as more information potentially comes to light the public and media will undoubtedly continue to dissect every detail this unfolding drama serves as a stark reminder of the lasting repercussions of past actions and the intricate dynamics within the entertainment industry for now all eyes are on jlo and diddy as the world waits to see how they respond to these explosive allegations that's it for now don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below for more updates, hit the bell icon.